Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna be filming a story time video. I just I got up today because I'm, I'm sick, I'm stuck in the house. So I got up today, I did my makeup, I got a little pink drink. Yeah, I asked you guys on my Instagram. If you guys don't follow me, it is Savannah.joe on Instagram. But I asked you guys to give me some fun like sit-down videos that I could film today because I'm stuck in the house. I have nothing to do and I wanna just film content and like use my time wisely while I'm stuck in the house. So yeah, you guys asked me to do some story time times and one of the story times was about the first time that I ever got high so that's what I'm gonna be telling today As you guys know, recently I came out about that I smoke and that yeah, I've, I've been smoking for like a while now Probably I would say I would say I've been smoking heavy for about like a year now but i don't smoke super heavy or anything so basically what i mean by that like saying like i smoke heavy i just mean smoking like more frequently not necessarily heavy i would say i probably smoke maybe three four days out of the week but i don't think i smoke any more than that so i guess that kind of gives y'all i think i want to test the theory and like kind of film myself but if i do do that it's going to be on my patreon so if you guys want to subscribe to that the link is in my description but if you guys would like to see any smoking content from me, go to my Patreon. It's linked down in the description. I post all different kinds of smoking content on there. So if you guys want to see some of that type of content, go to my Patreon. I couldn't post it on YouTube because they won't monetize it. So yeah, and I don't want to risk getting my channel taken down. So we made a Patreon account and that's where we're going to keep the smoking content. I might do some like get ready with me while high and stuff, but I'm not going to have like actual smoking content on here. So yeah, I just don't even want to risk it. But yeah, so I'm going to be telling the first time I ever got high. So actually the first time I ever got high is not the first time I ever smoked So I started smoking like I smoked for the first time probably freshman or sophomore year And actually I smoked with my friend's mom. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna say names But my friend's mom actually like was a stoner I guess I don't know her and her boyfriend at the time or whatever But they actually smoked so her mom let her smoke and stuff So when me and my friends would go over to her house She would let us smoke and like I think it was better that I kind of smoked in that environment because like I was with an adult present, you know, like, I don't know. It was nothing really, like, if anything bad happened, I was, like, I felt safe because I was with an adult. So, yeah, my first time actually ever getting high was not my first time smoking because whenever I first smoked, I didn't know how to inhale it or anything. And sorry if the, like, lighting changes. Um, I'm sitting in front of a window, so it, like, keeps going in and out. Just don't pay attention to it. But, yeah, so the first time I ever, like, actually smoked, I didn't get high. Or, like, the first, I think, like, first one or two times that I ever smoked, I did not get high because I didn't really know how to inhale it properly and even when I did inhale it like it I wasn't smoking enough like I wasn't hitting it enough and I would only ever hit the blunt like two or three times so I never really got high until my first time I actually ever got high so this time this was actually after a football game I'm pretty sure this was like my junior year I think this was my junior year I'm not really sure so yeah that's what I mean like I had been vaping throughout high school but like I never really like smoked super hard or you know like I would smoke very rarely but I just never got high and so I think like I'm pretty pretty positive this was like junior yeah no this was this was definitely junior year so basically my junior year i wasn't on the cheer team so i was kind of like free to do what i wanted but i wasn't like completely free because i was also in softball so i had to do anything like smoking wise or anything like that in the fall because that was when i wasn't really like getting drug tested or anything because springtime was when softball started so we were on like high alert and like we would get drug tested and stuff so i couldn't really smoke during the spring so in the fall of my junior year i went to a football game and basically after the football game a lot of the time we would go out to eat like we would go to like just anywhere really and like a group of us would just go out to eat and hang out after the game so yeah on this particular night we decided that we were gonna go to hooters and actually this night was like a sh show like it really ended up being like such a sh show so me and a group of friends we all decided to go to hooters after the game we get to hooters and there's like a bunch of girls there's a bunch of guys like a lot of the football players a lot of the girls like we just kind of like all in a group went to hooters we get to hooters and basically one of the girls is like do y'all want to go smoke asking like all the girls and i was kind of like why not you know i didn't really have like a reason to say no when i wasn't really opposed to it but i was still like a baby smoker like i had never like obviously i've never gotten like actually high before so i I, you know, like I was kind of nervous, but I was like, yeah, okay, so let's go. So then we all decide that we're gonna go smoke. We leave Hooters and we leave the guys there. So they're like waiting for like our food and stuff because the 
I don't know why, but like this particular night, like it was super, super busy. So it was taking a while. So we decided that we were going to go smoke while we waited. So me and the girls that were there, we all get in the car and we head to an apartment complex that was pretty close to the Hooters. And we all go park and we sit in this apartment complex and we're going to smoke. So we get outside, we're smoking. And I just remember it like at first I was not high. Like it hit me so like quick. But at first, like I was just like chilling. I was smoking. I was good. Like I was really inhaling it. And I, like I didn't want to seem like I didn't know what I was doing or anything. So like I was like really really inhaling it and this is like the most that I probably ever hit the blunt because when I was with my friends like I would really only hit it like one or two times and then I like I would cut myself off but this time I didn't want to like you know seem like a bitch so I was like hitting it multiple times and don't do that know your limits but I mean like I was fine in the end but still like pace yourself and don't just smoke because you're like with a group of people but yeah so I I didn't want to seem like so I just kind of kept hitting it and I was like hitting it the most that I probably ever hit a blunt So we get back in the car and I'm not high yet Like it hasn't hit me yet and then finally like it hits me and I just remember like I just felt like Everything would like stop and like I was sinking and it was just like really I don't know how to explain it It was just, like weird. I kept feeling like everything kept playing over like it was almost like everything was going in slow motion but I don't I don't know how to explain it y'all it was weird I wonder if I have like videos from this night I I don't think I do but anyways so we head back to Hooters and we get to Hooters and I just remember like feeling everything in slow motion and I just like was sitting there like staring at people like like literally just staring at people so at the time I was talking to this guy and so we get back to the table and I remember looking at my friend and being like oh my god like I I'm not okay like I'm I was like really really paranoid high like it was bad so like I was looking at this girl my friend and I was like I'm like so high like I'm really really high I like I'm tripping like I'm tripping out bad and I just remember like staring at everybody and like they all just like were laughing because like I was just like and then like I I don't know it was bad I remember I remember looking at the guy that I was talking to at the time and I was like I'm not okay like I, I really need to go like I'm tripping out like I literally feel like I'm gonna have a heart attack because like I remember my heart was beating so fast and I was like panicking I was like oh my god what if like I have a panic attack oh my god like I was freaking out and so he was like okay let's go outside so he me and him like we got up and we walked out and we were sitting we were standing in the like foyer part of it so like the little room before you get into the restaurant he was like holding me and just hugging me and like it's okay it's okay and so like I was trying to calm down but like seriously like I felt like my heart was beating out of my chest it was so bad it was just like it's okay you're just really high like it's okay just try to calm down and then finally he calmed me down so I was like okay let's just go back in there and then we went back in there and we sat down then this is where the night took like a massive turn so basically some of the people that were eating with us just got up and left like they didn't pay for their bills or anything like that so then whenever we went to go leave we walked outside like we paid for our stuff so then we go to leave and then as we're leaving this cop comes and it's like y'all need to go inside and pay for your bill and we were like what like we pay for our bill da 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 and they were like no like there's bills in there and y'all are not allowed to leave until they're paid for so the guy that I was talking to at the time like he was a super super hothead like bad did like got in trouble with the police a lot like he was just like not not good with the cops and so I was really really paranoid because like for one I was super super high for two I'm like I was a good kid like I did not get in trouble with the police I did not get in trouble like at school like I was petrified of the police like I was like oh no 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 like I'm not getting in trouble like I cannot be getting in trouble right now like I'm so high I was I was already losing my mind and then the cops come and then like I was already super super paranoid so I was like oh my god no like this is like so me and like I think two other people we decided we're just gonna go in and pay like the other people's tabs So we all just like grabbed a different check and then like we all paid for it because I was like nope I don't care like I'm not getting in trouble with the cops and I'm not gonna deal with this like going to escalate into something else Like I just can't do that. So I was just like whatever. It's fine Like I'll just go in and pay for it So we ended up all having to like pay for other people's paychecks and stuff But yeah, so that was how my first time ever getting high experience went It was honestly probably like not the best experience like I wish it would have been such a more like calm experience and like fun experience for me but definitely it was way more of like a paranoid experience but I've had way better experiences smoking now I think now that I'm more um not advanced but just more experienced in it I know how to handle my highs and I know when I'm having a bad high versus having like just like a normal high so I think I just had like a bad high that time I 
think I think I was just like too high if you know what I mean so that's why I'm saying like know your tolerance because if you smoke too much and you get too high then you can have like a really really paranoid experience and it's not gonna be fun for you smoking should be something that like calms you down that you can use you know just to stay calm meditate and like have a peaceful experience but that experience I think I just like over smoked so I was just like really really paranoid and everything but yeah I ended up being okay but still that's how my first time ever smoking went I hope you guys enjoyed this story time if you did give it a thumbs up comment some other story times or like different things that you guys want me to talk about but yeah like I said if you guys want to see any smoking content or any like just different content that I wouldn't be able to monetize on my YouTube channel you can definitely head over to my patreon just last night I actually did a zoom session where I gave them like a link to a zoom and then we all got on the zoom and we just kind of talked and met each other so yeah I'm definitely gonna be doing different things like that I'm probably gonna have some new zoom calls where it's just like me and Julia on it and then y'all can just comment in the chat because I think a lot of people were nervous at first so I'm gonna just test it out and try different things but yeah I post a lot of smoking content on there and everybody who has subscribed to my patreon so far that I've talked to has said that they really really enjoy it and that they think it's worth it so definitely if you're interested it's only six dollars minimum it is a six dollar minimum so if you want to just get on my subscription for six dollars you can do that but if you want to up it to help a sister out you can definitely do that as well I know some people up their pledge to eight dollars so I really really appreciate if you would do that but you don't have to it's just a six dollar minimum but yeah like I said thank you guys so much for watching hit the subscribe button if you want to see more content from me turn your post notifications on and give this video a like and I'll see you guys in my next one bye